Now let's review the bending moment. So go in force and select beam diagram. Um, I will choose step CS7. And um, for the component, I will see MY, scale 1, contour, deform. I uh, can take the form off and legend click on apply and now you view the bending moment at this particular stage of the analysis so you can zoom on one specific part of the bridge now let's review the actual forces for let's say CS15 stage. Um, so go in force, trust forces, and select CS summation, last step, okay. Mm. Now in the force filter select all and I will view the legend and you see the trust forces right now. So if you want to see the value you can click here. So you have the value in each cables at a particular stage. So you can do like that the value of the truss force which is changing during the construction. Now I will review the deformed shape of the main girders and towers for each construction stage using the construction stage analysis graphs. So for each construction stage, we review horizontal displacement for the towers and vertical displacement for the main girder at the one force of the point location of a side span. So this is in uh, always result and here you have a tab called stage and step graph so define function displacement add a new function and can call it horizontal displacement and node number one component dx click on OK now define Another uh, function. This one will be vertical displacement. Um, it will be at the node 27, where is the tower, and choose DZ for the component. Click on OK. Now the mode multi function, because uh, I have created two functions. The step option, okay, last step. Now, now check horizontal displacement and vertical displacement. Load case um, summation, okay. Graph total will be um, horizontal and vertical displacement. and vertical displacement for each construction stage graph and now you will have the stage history graph for each constru construction stage so it is giving you the change in vertical displacement and horizontal displacement during the construction. So it's a very uh, important and very interesting graph. Now let's uh, review the variation of the cable per stress by using the step history graph function. So just close this one and uh, here always this one 
and define function. This time I will use trust force and stress. Add any function. Call it cable 10. Cable 10. Uh, the node is node 10. Force on. I node and click on OK. Add another one called cable 11 so node 11 ok mode multifunction last step x axis and select this one and select cable 11 and cable 10 summation and graph So this is the variation of the press stress in the cable during each construction stage. So you see that during the last construction stage there's a big variation into this uh, cable. Now the last thing I will check is the variation in the bending moment for the main girder and towers. So this time I used the beam force and stress. Um, I already created so I will delete them and create them again so choose beam force stress add a new function you can call it moment you can call it moment of girder um, choose element number 45 force on I node component moment in y direction. Click on OK. Add another one, but for the moment of the tower. This time it will be at the node 108. Force on actual moment y and OK. Now I just have to select these two uh, functions here, summation, and can enter title, bending moment of each construction stage, and click on graph to obtain this bending moment. So the green one is the moment of the tower, and the red one the moment in the girder. At the specified node. Okay, it's the end of this uh, tutorial. So thank you very much for following all this uh, tutorial. I hope you will also follow me next week because I will speak about the nonlinear type history analysis with isolators, which is a very interesting subject. So if you want to follow the next with subjects don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel in order to uh, view the video next week thank you again and see you next week